think you could talk with almost any artist is, you know, it's it's a tough business to try and make money from. We get a lot of support with them coming to festivals and different things, but it's hard to actually produce sales. So by supporting us, it helps keep supporting the Toledo area and all the great causes that they have going. We really, really appreciate it. My name is Greg Justice. I'm just a local artist here in Toledo. I've been here for quite a few years. And as we know, it's, it's tough making a, a career in art, but I've done pretty well with my art classes. And then we have this whole coronavirus scare. So I think as an artist, one of the things we're obligated to do is kind of help our communities through it. So that's basically what I'm trying to do by, first of all, I started developing uh, coloring pages that I'm doing regularly and posting on my Facebook uh, fan page, Greg Justice Modern Impressionism. And then I'm also doing a really super exciting promo in light of the lack of toilet paper, is with each original art purchase, you also get a free roll of toilet paper. You can't go wrong with that, really. And also, you know, being an artist, you have to be creative. So when we had this insanity of uh, people, you know, doing uh, kickboxing in aisle number eight to get their toilet paper, you know, it's people are just kind of funny. And even though it's stressful, you just have to find ways of kind of kind of laughing at ourselves a little bit. So I just thought um, it would be just kind of fun to say you got a free roll of toilet paper with each purchase. And if it led to a sale, helps me pay a bill or buy some food. So got nothing to lose. You may as well try anything, right? I've just, I've always been very drawn to color, like the Impressionist and Abstract Expressionism is probably my two favorite periods. So I'm very influenced by them. I just love the colors and the whole process of uh, with the abstract expression is kind of using the sub or the uh, paint or material as a, the actual subject. So I like to like have the painting, but also when people see it, they see the image, but then they're like, oh my God, they always want to touch the paint. That's part of the reason I started doing more textural stuff. Because when I was doing a lot of the outdoor art shows, people are just so funny. Like when they see that, for some reason, we all want to kind of touch the paint. Like you, you just can't resist it. It's like painting, what I call it touch temptation is what I call it. When this crisis kind of came and everybody stopped spending, just because they stopped spending didn't make me feel like, oh, now I'm gonna have to sit sad in my art studio without sales. You still have to do something. So um, recently I participated in a coloring book contest with the Lucas County Library. And I took third place in the adult vision. Woohoo! So basically I got this idea with the coloring book, it'd be a lot of fun to do coloring pages with all this going on and just kind of do them and give them to people for free because you know we're all stuck home we have our kids home now we have a lot of people who need some kind of activity and it's it's like art therapy is what i always kind of think of it as my coloring book i post all the new pages i have a facebook art fan page it's called greg justice j-u-s-t-u-s modern impressionism and i have a folder that just says free coloring book pages and if you'd like to purchase um any of my artwork you can check out all my available artwork at artofjustice.com. I have information about my current work as well as uh, painting classes. Once this is all done, if you want to do painting classes with me, you can. And all the other information projects that I'm working on.